the core of this whole thing should have been Obi-Wan, Anakin, when Anakin was young, and the Inquisitors. What I thought would happen is, for an entire episode, it would be um, Hidden Christensen. See, here's the thing here. If you want to look at the surface, people say, oh, best episode so far, best episode so far, most amazing episode so far. It is the best out of a bad bunch. But on its own, it still ain't great. And just, just to a, a couple of things here. The big thing about this episode was Reva. And I think we pretty much clued in that because wait, the Grand Inquisitor and so forth, she was a youngling, as people already predicted online. She was a youngling. She obviously went in covert to act as if she was an Inquisitor to get close to Vader to try to kill Vader and so forth. So, so then people, so now people will say, oh yeah, so that was why she doesn't really seem that evil. Because I say, wait, this doesn't really seem that evil. She, she, she looks too nice and too friendly to be a Sith and someone that's that evil. But this is the mistake you make. You have to hire an actress who can properly evoke and make the audience convinced she's evil. Really fully do that evil thing with a little twinge of maybe there's something in beneath. And then you now see the turn there. So the mistake they made is, oh, no, no, we're going to hire somebody who, you when you look at them, they actually feel more of a Jedi rather than a, a Sith. And then when the turn now comes, it now makes sense that, oh, blah, blah. But that's a rookie mistake. It's a rookie mistake of casting. It's a rookie, rookie mistake of casting because you're thinking about it two-dimensionally rather than three-dimensionally. You have to get somebody who really convinces us that they're evil. So when the turn happens, it's like, boom. So you're like, oh, wow, geez, you're, you're a young lady. So this turn didn't seem as effective. The twist didn't seem as effective because we're always questioning that, eh, she doesn't seem that evil. She just seems too nice. There's just something about her that doesn't really seem to evoke that kind of evil thing. So it's a, it's, it's a casting rookie mis mistake there. But I think for Ms. Ingram, who I still think was, she was mis 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 miscast. This was her best episode. I think this was the episode in which she, she really showed um, her acting in the best possible way. But overall, I just still think that there were so many missteps. And I still think for overall, for what, for what they wanted to do with the character, specifically with the act, should have gone with, with with someone different. So it's 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 bad casting. Again, I said Danai Gukurira, Naomi Harris, the actresses are out there. Um, this is where these guys messed up. You you know now on, on the last episode, you wasted an episode in episode four, which was useless. What I thought would happen is for an entire episode, it would be um, Hidden Christensen. So you'd have an entire episode of young and of Anakin and Obi-Wan back at the day. Maybe they go on a mission, but for a whole episode, 30 to 40 minutes, it's them. So we fully flesh out their history. I didn't think that they do like flashbacks in there, flashbacks in there, because even for the flashback that we saw, there was no acting there. It was just it was just it was just them fighting. I thought no, you'd have a full episode fully dedicated to their to both of their characters and their and their chemistry and their back and forth which would add way more weight to the character that really wasn't put in in the prequel. So, again, that's a missed opportunity because you waste... Because you could have easily done that in, in episode four. A whole thing of back there between him and home. And that's what you do because episode three, he meets Vader for the first time. And then in an episode four, you have an entire episode dedicated to um, um, younger Anakin and younger Obi-Wan to really show... Hidden Christensen's um, acting that really wasn't fully shown in, in, in the prequels. <clears throat> see, see, when you look at a New Hope, specifically Empire Strikes Back, there is a, there is a certain weight and drama. There is a certain piece of sophistication um, to the scenes, specifically the, the, the fight scenes. When you just look at that fight between Reva and Vader, like, it feels fan made. There doesn't the, the, there's not a level of sophistication that you saw when you saw Luke against Vader in Empire. Even Luke against Vader in Return of the Jedi, where just the, there was there was more composure to how those scenes were con constructed. This seems a lot more haphazard. I basically, it just it just feels a lot more fan made. That's the thing. It feels fan made. 
Does it, it feels as if, oh my gosh, this is going to look really cool and the fans are going to really eat this up. Rather, no. You're making a film. You're making a piece of art. And there is a certain kind of mature way to approach it. It just seemed very immature. It just seemed very, very, very immature. And I just think, that's why I just think, for this whole Obi-Wan thing, they've missed a trick. Because look, Leia shouldn't be anywhere involved in this. This should have been... What this should... Do you know what... <laughs> Do you know what this should have been? Six episodes. Similar to what they did with Boba Fett. You do, it's, it's a back and forth. It's a back and forth between Obi-Wan in the presence, being haunted them by the Inquisitors, and then, um, what's it called? Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor back in the day. So for each episode, you're doing a back and forth of in the past, present. Past, present. Past, present. And you may be filling in some gaps in, those, in the past that we didn't get in the prequels that this the core of this whole thing should have been Obi-Wan Anakin when Anakin was young and the Inquisitors that is what it should have been the river thing is interesting and so but, from, but that's how I would have gone I would have gone because no this is Obi-Wan this is an Obi-Wan story but specifically Obi-Wan and Anakin they should have been that they should have been the two cornerstones of this but it's Kathy Kennedy it's Deborah Chow. Girl power! You need to have freaking Leia. Who she isn't 10. That's, that girl is 6. Max 6. That girl is max 6. And if you have to have Reva. So you obviously have to have female representation and so forth. But the, 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 the angle they chose was wrong. It should have been about Anakin and Obi-Wan. And really the focus on Obi-Wan, the character, a character study of him. No layer or river to distract us. Just solely focused on him and guys hunting him down and him reminiscing about Anakin back in the, in the day. And for me, I would have used Vader. They would have, they would, him and Vader, would have, they would have never met. They would have never met. But it is what it is. We'll see what happens in the final episode, man. What did you guys think of the episode yourselves, man? Like, subscribe. One love.